Good evening once again. Um, so it's about time for the real test. Installing Open Zusa 13.1 or whatever the latest version is from a bootable live GNOME um, distribution. So let's see what happens. Right. Yeah. No, I don't really care about that. Um, I have the other videos uh, that I just took transcoding from MPG to MP4 while we're doing this, but whatever, you guys probably didn't need to know that, but anyway. So, um, let me, whoops, oh, so let's full screen, oh, hold on a second, I need to, <laughs> oops, I forgot. I need to go into the settings here. And now. Uh, uh, oh. Settings. Oh, 1.2 gigabytes. Okay. That's good. But that's not really what I care about. <laughs> floppy. That's hysterical. They let you have a floppy disk drive in here. Uh, USB controller. Good. Good. Um, where is this? Shoot. Um, uh, use physical drive. Okay. I'm gonna, let's see, for now, I'm gonna change it to use ISO image file because I can always change it back. Yeah. Let's change it back. So, I'm going to find it. Uh, not in here. It's not even on this drive, actually. Where is this? Um. Okay. Wow. Twenty-five percent has already been used on this. Okay then. Oops. Um, okay. Right here. Oh, there we go. I just had to um, double click on it or something. Okay. So hit OK. Let's see what that does. Okay. There we go. Um, all right. So I will be right back. Hold on. I actually have to pause this for a second, but I'll be back in flash. Oops. Anyways, uh, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry about that. So I am going to, let's see, I'm going to power this thing on. We'll see what happens. So we're booting into the live environment. Um, now, it's very difficult for me to tell because I don't have any screen reader feedback yet, so um, 
uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, attempt to run Orca and see what happens. So this will be interesting. Um, oh, there's that stupid thing. What is this? that I don't really care about. Um, so, let's see what happens. Holy cow. I'm getting a lot of heat from there. Let's see. Okay. This must be just a bunch of preliminary stuff. Um, when it boots up and everything, but other than that, uh, let's take a look and see what we get. Because, hold on, let me see, can I do F2 yet? No, not yet, okay. So we must not be quite at the, um, uh, GNOME desktop, although this looks, that's odd. It looks more like, oh no, never mind, we're getting some somewhere here. It looked kind of like there was a bit of a terminal there or something. I don't know. I don't know what I was looking at, but it was something. Anyway, maybe one of you guys watching this um, can tell me about it. But well, if I remember right, Zusa took a really long time to boot up when I when I had a. Um, virtual machine running Zusa before, it took a long time to actually boot up properly, so I don't quite know what's happening, but it looks... Oh! Hold on. Oh, shoot, hold on. I need to... There we go. Make sure. Okay, F2. Let's see what happens. Um... See if Orca starts up. Interesting. That's really weird. Uh, start menu. Oh wait, hold on. Oops, that wasn't what I wanted to do. So control G. Okay. This must still be like booting up or something. Oh, that's interesting. I must have told it to do that or something. Oh, that's odd. Okay, what is this? <laughs> Oops. I have no idea what I did, but okay. F2. Somebody, somebody told me, but are you kidding me? You think I actually remember which one it was? Nope. Of course I don't. Um, interesting. I don't know what in the world happened here. That's a fail. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, all right, let's, let's get out of here then. That's, that's where I wanted to be, not... Okay, so, oh, weird. So that's kind of interesting. Okay. I don't know. Something else is happening here. Let's see. Oh. Oh, hold on. <laughs> We're booted. All right, let's try this again. So one. Okay, let me see. Let's start. Oh, shoot. Maybe it's Alt F2. 
brain fart. I don't really remember, but whatever. Interesting. Yeah, Orca should be starting up for us. And so far it isn't, so I'd love to figure out. Okay, well, at least I can get the gnome um, menu up and running, but uh, hold on. Let's try Alt F... What is it? Alt F7? Let's see what Alt F7 does. Nothing. Uh, Alt F6. Alt F7. Nothing. Okay. Interesting. I don't know why. I don't have any feedback yet whatsoever. So this is, so yeah, this is, this has been quite an adventure. Um, but anyhow, um, huh? I'm gonna have to look this up because I find that very strange that I'm not able to. Use F2 to get in there. Let me try one more time. No, apparently that doesn't work. Okay. Um, I don't mind saying that's a little bit the annoying side, but still. Yeah, I do. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, sorry guys. That was a fail. I was really hoping that was going to work, but apparently... Yeah, apparently we had a little bit of a issue getting um, Gnome's Orca running. So, because Orca is a screen reader in Linux, and I was really hoping to get that going and actually be able to install Linux from the live CD, which you actually can do. I just have to figure out how to get Orca running. That, that was my problem, is that I couldn't figure out how to get it going. So for now, I think I'm just going to close VMware Workstation, and um, I will uh, see you guys in the next video. Whoops. I don't want that media coder thing showing. I don't really care about that. So anyway, I'll see you guys next time.